The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh as follows. Get up and make your way down to the potter's house, and there I shall tell you what I have to say. So I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working at the wheel. But the vessel he was making came out wrong, as may happen with clay when a potter is at work. So he began again and shaped it into another vessel, as he thought fit. Then the word of Yahweh came to me as follows. House of Israel, can I not do to you what this potter does? Yahweh demands. Yes, like clay in the potter's hand, so you are in mine, house of Israel. And our response is taken from Psalm 146. Alleluia. Praise Yahweh, my soul. I will praise Yahweh all my life. I will make music to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, in any child of Adam who has no power to save. When his spirit goes forth, he returns to the earth. On that very day, all his plans come to nothing. How blessed is he who has Jacob's God to help him. His hope is in Yahweh his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. He keeps faith forever. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, Jesus said, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that is cast in the sea and brings in a haul of all kinds of fish. When it is full, the fishermen bring it ashore. Then sitting down, they collect the good ones in baskets and throw away those that are of no use. This is how it will be at the end of time. The angels will appear and separate the wicked from the upright to throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Have you understood all these? They said, yes. And he said to them, well then, every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom new things as well as old. When Jesus had finished these parables, he left the district. The Gospel of the Lord.